Hello everyone, XP is an elk here, back with a new Fire Emblem Builder tutorial. Today I um, decided to pick up a topic that I saw, uh, yeah, that I saw in the comment section. Someone asked for a tutorial on conversations, so I thought, why not do a tutorial about conversations today? So uh, I want to try something else today. Uh, I've gotten uh, a little bit into DMs with uh, another fellow tutorial creator and ROM hacker uh, named Vesley, and he told me that it might be a nice idea to see if I could uh, make shorter videos. So uh, I will be experimenting with that today with today's tutorial uh, on conversations. So let's get started. Um, when you want to make a conversation, uh, what you want to do is, you see these talk conversations over here? Um, you can double click on them if there are talk conversations to the right. For an example, if we go to um, Revolted Care, uh, uh, never mind how you pronounce that. You see that there are all kinds of talk convos. If we go back to Ancient Horrors, uh, I made a blank one that we are going to use as a template. So you can either double click on that or you can click on event. I'm going to double click on this one. What will happen is it will take you to this little window right here. And as you can see, all the talk conversations are listed here. Um, so that's that's very nice. You can add uh, access other events here. But today we're focusing on the talk condition. So the generation type is of course a talk condition. You could also do this ASM thingy, but I don't really care. Uh, we have a completion flag. This is very important to set, otherwise uh, you can complete this conversation an unlimited amount of times. So, as you can see, the completion flag for this talk event is 1E, which means that if this flag is on, you will not be able to trigger the conversation anymore. Um, so, um, we need to remind ourselves of setting this. We're going to set this at like 2F or something? Oh, that's a do not use. Uh, let me take a look real quick. Temporary flag 23. That's You can use any of the temporary flags. You could also use global flags. Any flag, basically. Um, except some specific ones, such as the seize and defeat boss flag. You shouldn't, uh, unless you're do going really crazy and do really crazy shit, you should not touch um, other flags but the temporary and global flags. Uh, we also have a, uh, a trigger flag condition. You can set this. Um, what this means is that if you want a um, trigger flag, you can set that so one thing has to happen first, uh, and then you can talk. But for now, that's n out of the question. We have to select the people who will talk. Well, just let's do just Erica and Seth, just to show it off. Let's click right to ROM. And now, uh, what we have is Erica can talk to Seth. Seth cannot talk to Erica. We need to make another uh, talk convo at the extend list option. We're not going to do that now because I wanted to keep the video a little short. So now let's get into the uh, the event itself. Um. Oh, there you go. Um, so in the event itself, um, let me click... You can see that I start a conversation here. I call a um, conversation text. This is a certain option or a certain um, uh, well method that you can call, uh, a sort of event you can call. Um, I am calling this one. There are various conversations, one where you can immediately set the background, and uh, there are a couple of them. You need to figure out what fits the situation the best. But I decided to do something special today. I uh, took the conversation, this one, the um, low text show plus text end, uh, without a background. Uh, what this one does is this allows you to uh, s to switch music and backgrounds via a certain command in the text editor. As you can see, we have a um, nice little chain of events here. This is the end text by start uh, by text start. Uh, what this does is once the game encounters a certain command within the conversation which I'll show you in a bit uh, then it will stop and read this line of code this line this line of code this method uh, this event so um, on a certain point 
I will add a command to the conversation and then it will switch the background music. And I'll do that again so that it will switch the background music again. And you can, well, switch music by first stopping the conversation, then playing this, uh, then changing stuff, and then you need to resume it. Otherwise, it will not work. Uh, this one is for the second time I'm going to call that command. Um, then I'm going to switch the music again. Um, and finally, if the conversation is done, you should uh, just, for the sake of the conversation, add conversation to end Rima. Um, and finally, to uh, make sure that the track Leon doesn't keep playing for the rest of the player or enemy phase, I will return the music back to the original background music for the map. So let's click on this, and then we'll go to the text editor itself. Ah, you see um, the conversation. We can select a conversation. You could also switch. You could do this one. For an example, this one is also a conversation of La Rochelle. Uh, I'm grabbing this as an example, by the way. So uh, you can double-click on this. You will be taken to the um, text editor. There you go. And in the text editor, we need to call this special command. We could also just quickly say like um, I am uh, a good unit I swear uh, and what we'll do then is we'll call upon the command which is called load overworld faces I thought it was yes this one load overworld faces what this does is it stops the conversation reads the um well reads the changes so it then changes the background music and then um it continues the conversation if correct that is we'll see if it works in a bit once we go and test so we'll write this to rom and we can add another one because we have two music changes so let's add another one here i guess we'll just uh do load overworld faces here as well and what will happen now, if correctly, when we talk, or we could also just change really quickly, um, because for consistency's sake, we'll change this into Erica, or me, for wha for whatever reason I set my own portrait, and we change this to Seth, just for continuity's sake. This is you can easily um, change this. Uh, I will show you um, in another video how you can actually make the conversation more lively by moving people, removing and adding characters. That is something for another time. So if we hit the um, run button, ah, there we go, it's not big, make it big. So there we go. If we go and check if it works, um, ancient horrors, let's just press this button. That's all nice and well, blah, 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 blah. So if we just um, talk to Seth real quick, it should work now. Dostla, have you thought of any good plans? I'm a good unit, I swear. And as you can hear, the music changes. So now we'll just skip through the lines really quickly. Let's see, um, where is it? It's quite a long support conversation. It's just a stupid little conversation. And so now the music changes again. It's so sad music now, the Leon music. I love that track, by the way. Oh, okay, and there we go. So, that is that. Um, that is how you change the music in between support co or in talk conversations and how you make a new talk conversation. So, there's that. In the next video, we will cover how you can make uh, the conversation more lively by making characters jump and move and stuff like that. So, I will like to see you guys in the next episode. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you uh, enjoyed this video. Um, consider subscribing, really helps out the channel, and uh, let me know if this was a good uh, thing to do. If you like these shorter episodes, then be sure to tell me, um, yeah, and leaving a comment, leaving a thumbs up just helps the channel grow.
Anyway, that is that. I am Experience and I hope to see you guys in the next FE Builder tutorial video. Goodbye!